The World Health Organization estimates that the incidence of cancer could increase from 14.1 million new cases in 2012 to about 22 million by 2030. This drastic increase in the incidence rate of new cases prompts the need for better cancer treatments. Scientists are now moving towards personalising cancer care to select the most appropriate therapy for an individual patient and improve patient outcomes. We believe oncopatient-derived organoids would be able to revolutionise the field of drugs testing as it is optimised to form organoid for cancer tumours, physiologically similar to cancer tumours residing in the body, and it addresses individual variability to yield patient-specific response. Oncopdo, which stands for Oncology Patient Derived Organoid, is a revolutionary 3D cell-based scaffolding technology that enables patient-derived cancer cells to be potentially cultured in laboratories and used for testing against a panel of approved drugs and new drug candidates. How does it work? A biopsy of the patient tumour is taken from routine surgery and sent for long-term cell culturing in in vitro Q's lab allowing us to eventually obtain the patient's cancer organoid. After obtaining the organoid, it will be grown as a simulation of the cancer cells. This video shows growth of a tumor cell using in vitro Q's 3D scaffolding technology in real time. It helps to maintain and expand the organoid In vitro Q then performs drug screening by adding drugs onto the multi-well plate and culturing them together with the organoid. Once these procedures are done, the oncologist receives a clinical laboratory report which will yield further insights to decide and prioritize oncological treatment regimens. As in vitro Q is a life sciences company dedicated to transforming bioanalytic solutions for biopharmaceutical clients and hospitals we aim to understand the impact of cancer treatments prior to conducting time-consuming and expensive clinical trials and pave the way for the assessment of effects of FDA-approved drugs on individuals before they are administered as a form of medical intervention. To learn more, visit invitroq.com. So my name is uh, Dr. Stephen Fang. Uh, I'm the founder uh, as well as this, uh, interim CEO for a company called InVitroQ. InVitroQ is a company that was uh, spun out of ASTAR about three, three and a half years ago. And they are in the space of um, uh, building uh, cell-based models. And what that means is uh, the ability to use a particular set of technologies uh, which we have licensed um, to allow us to build uh, human cell-based models uh, for testing, for drug discoveries, uh, even for personalized medicine.